All right, to take off this front bumper, you take the top eight millimeter bolts off. Uh, you disconnect the fog lights. And I disconnected the PDC parking. Um, and then after that, you have to be careful. Don't pull it out yet because these tabs are very particular. If you pull them out immediately, then they'll get trapped like right here. All right? So keep them in so that you can um, somehow, if you can, uh, after you get the wheel wells out, or uh, through the uh, headlights, there's a big hole in the headlight. This is how I got it out, is I uh, kept the bumper pushed in, and then I went each one and I pushed it up like that. This little ledge here. Push it up, and then it'll come out. I know it looks like this point is what keeps it in. It, it isn't. There's a little wall here. See where my finger is? Pretend like there's a little wall like that, and it it snaps in like that. If you try to pull that out, it'll hit that wall. So this has to come up like that. But don't push it up too hard, it'll break. Um, and you have to loosen the pressure before you can push the pyramid up and then take it out. It's uh, really tricky. It took me a few tries, but I got it out. And so now I am going to attempt to take this out so that I can repaint it army green, this black part. And it appears that the black part um, has the same type of hooks here, right? Only the hooks on the black part, the hooks or the pyramids, uh, the tips of the pyramids keep it in like that so you have to push down like this and then so you can see see that now it's flush now you can push it out but I'm gonna take I'm gonna disassemble the uh, black trim and clean it and then repaint it an example here hope I can do this with one hand you push that like that you see how it tucks in then it comes out like that before you can get to the uh, clips here you have to undo these uh, the initial side buttons here with the trim tool remover now that the bumper is off I can show you guys where the hell the external ambient temperature sensor is off uh, uh, located right here to get to this you either have to take off the bumper or you can try to take these screws up of the top of the mesh uh, take them uh, and then pull the bumper forward and stick your hand in there I did it because my hands are small comparatively but it was a tight fit I don't recommend you doing that if you're gonna have uh, to change this then uh, you're probably gonna have to take your bumper off and the way to get this off is you push it upwards and it'll click off it'll uh, come right off because it has a little ridge here that fits into this thing. So see that ridge right here where my fingernail is? That, that fits in there. I'm going to just force it up. Boom. What I did was I pulled on this forward a little bit and I pushed on the bottom up. And it goes boom. Comes right up. And then you take the new one. right in push it down and snap like that and then put the thingamajiggy connector back on voila if you get a external ambient temperature or air sensor error that is the thing right there uh, the left side headlight and it's right there. It's camouflaged. When you put a grill back on, it's very hard to, to locate, but it's right here. Okay, now that I've got all these parts all sitting here with a fan blowing on it to dry, make sure all the water's dried up. 
I'm going to first uh, apply some uh, adhesion promoter to all these parts and then I'm going to paint all the parts I want with the camo green. Now it's time to start painting parts. Camo green. I'm going to do the whole bumper trim there and the fender trim and the these little gray slats in the front vent. So I taped them off. I put on adhesion promoter and uh, let's have at it. Okay. So before I put the bumper back on, I put the trim back onto the bumper first because I wanted to make sure all of the clips were secure, right? And I wanted to put all the wires back into their um, respective holding things. Like, like these two are loose, so I got to put those back in. But everything else is good, and then I'll put these two wires in and try to fandangle the... Uh, Bumper right back onto the body along with the uh, lights and stuff. Alright, this is how to remove the rear plastic trim. Um, I want to document this since I'm putting it back, but painted mine camo, probably not going to last. I'm probably going to have to do an actual real paint job. But anyways, um, this back plastic piece has two, I believe, eight millimeters on the bottom fastening it to the body. I think... Um, and then these uh, locking, self-locking tabs on the sides. One, two, three, four. And this one is a slot to, this slot here is for uh, this tab. It goes in there like that. And then there's a rivet. Anyways, you'll undo that. Uh, first of all, you'll undo the, the trim piece there. And then after that trim piece comes off, you'll take this rivet off and then you'll work your way with these uh, pyramid tabs and you'll pull them out like that, back here, All right? And then you will um, pull that out and then you'll go reverse like this, it has to go backwards. And installation of this specific piece itself is, is, is exactly the reverse. You go forward first. Make sure that you get these rear slots in first. Then you can get the side ones even easier. As for this guy here, they've got pop-out fasteners and the typical pyramid or bracket things and they 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 fit in these slots here right and uh what i did was i popped them out pop out the underside rivets these uh pop rivets that they uh, use on this trim on the x5 and then i took the front i ripped the front out first and then once the front pop out fasteners came out um i got to the rear ones and they they came out pretty easy so this guy here which I took out completely um, you know you've got your eight millimeter a couple of eight millimeters to bolt on to some bracketing and then this here is the same thing it has slots like this oh, where, where's my hand oh, yeah. slots like this and they're they're various locations um, along the line you can reach your hand up and try to move the bracket so you can push it out uh, I found that they're pretty hard to, to, to move because they're kind of thick um, but once you get one or two out you can kind of wiggle wiggle and, and it'll come out pretty uh, pretty uneventfully so anyways I'm gonna put these guys back okay so I just pop these back on I'm gonna show you it's pretty easy to put back on there see see how that goes on so, boom boom locks it in and all these slots are right there there you go and we got to put these rivets back on all right now I'll put on this trim here 
you notice that there's a hook right here so just you know use common sense before the hook I like the flat finish. So far it's holding up. The can said that uh, the longer it's on the plastic, the more it cures and bonds. So, so far so good. I just did a car wash and the paint didn't flake off. So that's a good sign. Um, this is the back. Now, look at this. See that missing trim? It was on there. But on the way to Dallas, it flew right off, right? And it's because I am an idiot. When I put back the uh, trim, I failed to secure. I had forgot about these uh, eight millimeter bolts. See, see there, eight mil, I put it back on, but there's another eight mil here, and that goes onto the, uh, heat shield and also there's another here so you got to make sure don't rush things double check I did not double check and that is my fault so I have to order it's coming in but I had to order new pieces and probably gonna have to luckily I have enough paint I'll paint it to match the uh, green trim I think the green trim looks good the next step is to make the lettering more military that's what I want, a military theme. And this is what the grill looks like. Get the black. I like that flat green. What I'm probably going to do is this thing here is still too reflective for my taste. So I'm probably going to sand it down and then do a totally flat black. Maybe even change the uh, logo, the blue, put a vinyl green, military green to match. That'd be nice. Let me know what you guys think.